Hey, what's up, Internet? So I built a computer a little while ago, been using it, and I wanted to share it with you because it's a good build. So yeah, let's check it out. Yeah, I'll give you a hand. Processor, Intel Core i7-4770K. Boom. What's cool in it? Uh, it's Cooler Master Hyper N520. Works really well. Alongside that, I've got a GeForce GTX 770 by EVGA. It's uh, the SC. I haven't overclocked it yet. I've got 32 gigs of RAM. It's the Corsair Vengeance at 2133 megahertz. Yeah, check it out. Uh, motherboard is an Asus Z87A, and it is pretty cool. It comes with a lot of awesome stuff. Uh, hard drive is the 840 Evo. It's 240, 250 gig. Yeah, 250 gig. And I've also got the RM1000 because what better way to power your stuff than with a giant power supply comparatively. You can get a bigger one, but whatever. I didn't want to have to chance it. But as for the case, I went with an old case that I bought from a thrift shop for like 25 bucks back in the day with a bunch of parts in it. I've since gotten rid of the parts. And so this qualifies this build as for like to be a sleeper. It'll roll up to the drag strip like the CPU drag strip and be like, hey guys, whatever. And it'll look like that Civic that's just not even, like, why is this guy rolling up in his stock Civic, right? And then it like it pulls up next, to, and it's like, hey man, whatever. And then boom, it renders video and it's done. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's, that's, so that's a sleeper, yeah. I, I put this thing together like mid 2014, spent about 1800 bucks on it. You can see me putting some of the parts together here. And I wanted to do like a big old build, yeah, build vlog. But there's really good channels already. Like Linus Tech Tips. If you haven't seen them, oh my gosh, those guys are pretty awesome. Yeah, um, my main software I'm using for video editing is highly recommended by me to go to and get. If that does this even make sense? I think so. I'm just trying to get this over with. You know what I mean? Too much talking. It's not cool. But go to uh, Adobe.com. Or just the yeah Adobe and I pay for the it's fifty bucks a month you can get like all their programs it's awesome it's a Creative Cloud highly recommend it because it's awesome and the Adobe Premiere is my main video editing program and it uses the processor and the uh, graphics card together to like encode or do the uh, rendering for playback and it it works really well so all those parts together has been working really well for me. The cooler is pretty awesome. I, I used to, like, when I was encoding the video, like, output, it would get no hotter than 60 degrees. That was pretty impressive. It's been, a, it's been over a year now. And when I'm doing the same kind of encoding, it almost hits 70 degrees. Now, the couple things are in play there. It's age. Maybe it's just getting older, right? And or the upgrades to the software might be utilizing the processor differently which i think is also part of the part of the situation here and i have 80 millimeter fans what the heck what the heck they're they're in case fans i'm gonna um deal with that later but yeah i wanted to share my computer with you guys w what do you think is it is it good or is it great you decide after well i decide it's great it's it's awesome it's a thumbs up by me what would i do differently you ask because i heard you just ask it i would get the uh the intel 2011 uh 3 version 3 i would uh, yes it's uh i would at least get the i7 5820k to start with because pci lanes i think this 4770k only has like 16 and those can get used up really quickly i think one graphics card doesn't it just use them all up anyway the 5820K, is, it's got more of those. It's got two more cores, which is important. So the only thing I would do different, yes, is that processor, and it would also call for a new motherboard and a different kind of RAM, which at the time, I didn't have that money to spend, so I went with this. It's awesome. Ooh, if let's visit me today, today. If you were to get the same kind of system, but with all of the up-to-date parts, you would get the Intel, 6700 you would also get the gtx 970 instead of the 770 and the ddr3 ram would be ddr4 i think you might be able to run ddr3 not sure and then the motherboard of course would have to be the new uh, lga 1151 if you even care to know i bought this stuff from tigerdirect.com it was actually out of a store that said tigerdirect.com it was really awesome i was at a hotel and i was right next door it's cool because i was gonna buy the stuff online and have it shipped it didn't work <laughs> 
because I was right there. Okay, so video editing with this thing in Premiere works really well. I mainly use 1080p. Sorry, my main video codec. Oh gosh, how do I? Uh, <laughs> I record everything in 1080. It's about 30 frames per second. It's around 24 megabits per second. I hope I said all that right. Now, I've got a new camera. It shoots 50 megabits per second. It's the Sony ah, HDR CX405. Quality's not the greatest, but it'll shoot 60 frames per second. Now, when I'm editing my video in 60 frames per second, the fans kick in more than they do when it's at the 30 frames per second. But it really doesn't slow down a whole lot, so you can still jog through the stuff. When you use the multicam feature in Premiere, which is where you get a bunch of shots and then it like syncs them together, and you can just choose which camera to pick from. When I'm doing the normal 1080 at 30 frames per second, the machine just cuts through it like it's nothing. When I have the 60 frames per second at the higher bit rate, it, it slows down a little bit. I would imagine 4K would just tank this thing out, so don't, don't expect this to edit 4K without having to wait a little bit. Now when I encode the final product using 1080 and like putting graphics and stuff over things, it encodes at at least the same speed that the video plays, if that makes sense. So if it's 30 minute video, it'll take 30 minutes or less to actually edit and that's not, has nothing to do with pizza. But all of a sudden I'm hungry. Yes, and if it's at the 60 frames per second, it actually takes longer. Um, if it's just video, no graphics or anything, I'm just cutting things and adding video to video, it actually encodes like at twice the speed that the video takes to play. Mm -hmm. Hey, if you have any questions about this, leave them in the comments. Anyway, it's the first computer thing that I've done. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it answers your questions for if you're looking into video editing because it actually it works out really well. If you like this video, there's a button for that. If you want to see more videos like it, well, hey, there will be one because I've got these SP120 Corsair fans that are way too big for my case, and I'm going to just take some tin snips to it and make it work. And that'll be the next computer video I do. And you can click on that here. Yeah. Anyway, I hope that helped. See you later, Internet.